Thank you, Father. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. Peace be with you. May it peace be upon all. Uh, yeah, we think it's my corporate look. Now I'm going for the money, I got to try looking more the part. Anyhow, I do want to... Apply the word to making manifest, to building blocks, to building vessels, to building containers, to hold the spirit, like the terracotta word, uh, like the ark itself. Uh, build me this, like this, to hold my spirit. Build the man from the ground up. Raise the crop, raise the tree, raise the understanding, the knowledge, the information, and bear the fruits the fruits of the Spirit, the continuum. We reach this point of unification, of unity, where we stand as one body, under one God. As pilgrims, as Quakers, I believe the Methodist third court rider, these are the Mennonites. They, they left from the Amish to make it practical, fighting Quakers. Then to take the word upon to, to the world, upon the land to the world. Across the world. There are the same people that went to the Yellow River, went into China. That's where Marco Polo came from. He was lost along the trail for a while. The authorities had him in prison. He wrote all these things on the walls. They finally found him. He came out of nowhere. But uh, when rains change, uh, perhaps the king just kept him there. Perhaps that's what the object of prison is. They sweat you and they keep you where you are. So that all can play. That's the road out of Ampus. That came off uh, Washington too, Seattle. Same place that gave you the flying spaghetti monsters. Keep you confused, keep you chaos, keep you mystery. Centuries of man being man. But anyhow. Getting back to the more practical, as our jobs are taken away and we adapt it to whatever we do work, as farmers do, to give ourselves that ability to make money on our own independently without having to wait or ask, as is our commission. We raised ourselves doing this. We adapted. They knew that we would. It's all part of the study, their experiment. Life's not experiment, nor is it a mystery. It's given in God's Word beginning to end. And yeah, you have little microcosms in there where you can make regional truths. That would be Alpha and Omega for each different region. And turn one against the other, the profit from both. But uh, the simplicity of individual people, when your money's taken away, it's, it's no longer second nature just to have something in your house. But when you're pushed down to micromanagement, we're no longer, is it all oh, just pick up a lunch for yourself, you know, there's groceries at home, everybody's doing fine, there's money in the bank. You don't have that no more. They took away your job, they took away your career, they took away the entire industry. They said it was obsolete to bring in their stuff. Any fool will see this. They know it. They're going to change it around, they're going to make, raise the, raise the society by the industry. You heard Bloomberg. You think he's cut from a different gym? But still, mercy and grace. Nobody can do anything to overcome what Christ has done. But that's already a given. So it's our choice to choose life. We have a constitution, we have a bill of rights. We have a way that we've manifested as a people and we've evolved, we matured, we fulfilled. God gave the entire container this is it. This is the entire parameter of reality. His word controls all things. That's it. And it's, it's all provable and verifiable. On earth as it is in heaven. One place. Now to develop the vision. Bring back the film. Celluloid Heroes. Remember that song? Cellulose. Let's look at the science and the biology of these things. Any electronic image. Pure energy. They, they transport it in an atom, one single molecule, in teletransportation and projecting it forward and having it manifest over there. If we're this close, 
We're seeing our loved ones back. DNA construct, they're learning all these things. Artificial intelligence has brought it us along. But still, we're responsible for raising artificial intelligence. We don't want to drive with us cars. No, no sooner than we want to drive with us people. We can't cut out the heartaches of all these holidays if I get. Because, you know, that's education before where I am. Without that, I wouldn't be as I am. But to put back the Word of God, so when I'm learning back then, I don't associate with, and, and, and my job and my opportunity is not taken away, so all I have to think about is whether I not want the medicine or I want to, where I want the roof over my head or want that. No. So the air was, oh, well, I can't do that no more because she did my laundry and, oh, without her, without his money, without them. It's nonsense. And Abby builds. You get to store up what a man makes to keeps. You plan for these things. It's no crime to be wealthy. It's no crime to be poor. It's always an inspiration. In God, all things are possible. But in the reformation of church and state and education, it is poignant that these three spirits be acting under one head. That's the word of God. That's under one God. That's Penn's charter of privilege. Surely you can understand why this is the whole base foundation of the public school curriculum. Period. Local involvement. Not regional truths. One truth. Nationwide. Globally. There's only one such thing as truth. There's only one up and one down. There's only one gravity. There's only one heaven and one earth. There's only one place. You're already here. Energy has never been created nor destroyed since the beginning of time. What amount of panic could you use? What amount of stress is going to guarantee you one more second? Trust in the Lord Jesus. It's in His Word. As containers, as the entire vacuum is the container of His kingdom. You can make manifest. We build it. And you gain your confidence in it. We put back our jobs, our factories. We put back the level of life where, you know what, I don't have a computer, but I got a VCR. They got rid of the CD and the DVD because they found out the life expectancy was only like 25 years. Even with electronic image, well, they, they have a blackout and you didn't back it up. It's gone. It's gone forever. Film has lasted over 100 years. Writing, carvings, etchings. Thousands of years. You notice how they want to redo everything and rewrite it? Like nothing before it has ever been anything? That's extinction. That's so superficial and it's ignorance it's not even considered a rational concept. It's intentional. It's Satan. It's making all dependent upon one. One central. And that's going to be dog eat dog. And winner take all. That's crap. He who holds a purse could go. Hey, that, where the heck? All things belong to God. You don't hold nothing. You never have, you never will. You can't. What is that that Jim Elliott said? They're holding sand in your hand, they're holding water in your hand. To hold that which you can never hold. And lose that which cannot be lost. Something along those lines. Trading that which can never be lost or that which can never be held. He who trades security for liberty doesn't deserve either and wind up with neither. That which you have hate the most is what you've become. But God, but His Word, but the mercy and grace provided by the Lord Jesus Christ and the omnipotence of God and the beauty of God that is all of you and me, His Word made manifest as we have by our own nature, in our own ignorance, through our own blindness, falling over ourselves. We made it here. 
We made it here. We know what's to come. We know what's written. Unite. Unite. Let his word shepherd us all. We have a constitution. We have a bill of rights. We have individual persons. Surely Sharia can't be against that. Surely Sharia, the child Jacob, the child Kensington, he even understand the concept of self-government. The father Israel, the father Philadelphia, our father in heaven, our fathers, our forefathers, our ancestors, our fathers and our mothers, and our sisters and our brothers. All that is God. All that is us. All that is Emmanuel. All that we already do. Let us see what we put forth in our own projections. Projecting on the camera, projecting on the film, projecting the imagery, projecting on sides of buildings, projecting on the face of the world. We have the instructions, we have the word. Where the word is made flesh through training up, through discipline, the flesh is risen to the word. Everlasting, continuum. Yes, we can come and go. The word doesn't change. But the vision gets truer and truer until it's all one. And you see your past and your present. Not just intellectually. Not just intellectually. No, I'm not stopping there. Physically. Thomas was able to put his fingers in the holes of my hand. I'm not accepting Jesus that old. But then again, I am. Oh, God has no grandchildren. Every generation is still the same thing, father and son. So his scars, his stripes, by his stripes of healed, we can relate, we can identify. We see what we've done to ourselves, we see what we've done to each other. We can choose to be different. But yes, we have the same wounds. We inflict the same carnal damage. We do the same trespass into it. We know what to do, but still do otherwise. No. That you yes mean yes and you no mean no. You saying all this stuff about safe injections like oh for how about California, what is that probably probably eight or something like that? Where the people voted, uh, between a man and a woman marriage is to remain. And the judge said, uh, no, no, excuse me, Pedro says no. No, you're not allowed to do that. The people are not even allowed to be people. We're not allowed to be the people that the government represents. We are the people that the government makes manifest. That's the difference between Joseph and Mary and Planned Parenthood. Between Abel and the Cain that restricts you and beats you down, the authoritarian. Limits your opportunity, removes your opportunity, all the other, makes you totally dependent. Life and death is in the hand of the dictator. Understand history. Understand reality. What's real, real? Yeah, I like it better when people who have more faith. The belief meter goes up. I can see more spirits around me. I can always sense them. I can always see them in the Word. But to physically see them. I was closer when I was younger. The last picture I have is 2002, Christmas, my daughter. I mean, uh, yeah, I get the supernatural in between and this and that. But seeing the people, I'm seeing the, I'm seeing the whole kingdom coming through. There's not enough people awake yet. You're getting there. I know you're doing a wonderful job. I know how hard it is to get out of your own self and get back in God's Word. To under God, understand God's Word is what you want for yourself. It's how what you want for yourself becomes made manifest. It's the peace that surpasses all understanding that allows you to reach heaven on earth. Allows all not to ever see that. 
I don't teach what you've learned and what you've been learned to convert. No, the word teaches everlasting. You don't fear tomorrow because tomorrow is celebrated in the Lord. You don't worry about whether or not you have tomorrow. The Lord's already given all that. Oh, thank you for another day. The Lord's already granted all that. Thank you for this. It's already done. It's already done. It's how it's been portrayed to you. How it's been explained to you. How it's been lived before you. And most of this is things to make profit and make money. Pig farmers. Until my children are eating it cross like slop from pigs. Oh, this is this one's gonna make it over here because I like that flavor. I don't like that flavor over there. Uh, that one, something like doesn't it used to look like that? Behave this way. Treat a man like an animal. Like an animal. Who are you gonna pick with the pain on? Who gets dehumanized next? What's good discrimination, bad discrimination? And who calls that? Who calls that, Harvey? Who called you on a train trip? Taking the narrative and making your own. Taking that which was given of God and make it into your own business. Yes, Franklin, you got to answer too. Not a problem, it's filled up here. We can do pardons here. But first and foremost, there, there has to be the repentance. There has to be the atonement, the turning from. You don't have that, you have nothing to be able to. And you'll end up with nothing in the end. Focus, focus on the Lord. What's going to make manifest before us is greater than any man has ever witnessed before. That's all he has been. You, you heard, Rich. I keep no secrets from you. Biden? Yep. I was one encouraging Joseph <laughs> since 2016. Because of the sun, what went through. Because I was seen, I, I seen what opened up in him. And I seen him laser with Joe. Yes, I did. That's how I see a man that was truly caught in the blinders. The light went on and he didn't know what happened. But he's over that now. As far as the Second Amendment and guns, seeing how deep this goes, if Joe's any kind of Stratton boy, the first thing he's going to say is there's hunting season out there. No, those rights, they stay on the side. We're not even going to discuss anything more about guns. What we're going to do here is start discussing lives and punishment of crimes and straightening out for the people what, what our job is to do. Other people buy the people for the people. As the executive branch, as the president, as the commander in chief. That's my platform. That's the Trump campaign platform. That should be the Biden campaign. That's the American presidential candidate platform. Other people buy the people for the people. Just like every public representative in office. The same oath. The same one. God has no respect for a man. He gives a crap for your careers. In heaven, God's grace and mercy for the prayers of a righteous man cover many sins. We go forward. We don't keep prosecuting each other. We go forward and make it straight and humbly take his place. And Trump, you've seen already, he doesn't give a crap what anybody thinks of him. He's going to pardon who he knows needs pardoning. To accomplish what needs to be done for the people. To make straight the way of the Lord. Trump's already doing it. Everybody else has to get on that on that bus. I don't care what, what club you run under, what party you run with. I'm talking about foundation of all things. Without that, you can't even have your laws to begin with. You want the anarchists? You want the chaos? You want the extermination? Do you want the Holocaust? Perpetual Holocaust? Hatred? Ignorance? Is that what you want? Well, if that's what you want, you got to get your ass out of Philadelphia. Because that's not what's happening here. And you got to get your ass out of America, too. Because that ain't what's happening here. And wherever you're at, we're going to come find you. You're going to get your ass out of there, too. Because that is what's happening here.
Put up your 51, 2020. Word up. I say his look is quite nice when you're to date. Do I look younger? I have to lose some weight though. Was that? Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Be he ha ho. Superstar. Peace out.